for this new future. So that was that was part of uh, the Goethe Institute, uh, Lufana Digital, a MOOC, a cu- couple of years ago, I think. So those ideas have been about. But I'm not sure he's right. I'm not sure that's happening. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, arts institutions that are very happy with buildings, and uh, universities even more so. I would, I would think at this time. JD, good morning, Sam. Do you think um, FM radio is going to disappear and um, studios and impressive corporate structures for the channel, all this sort of thing? In one word, no. Oh, why is that? Ne- next one. <laughs> 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 no, I don't think so because um, you know, if you do, then what what what's a, what's the form of radio? Well, it's gone. I mean, it's like a like the art um, gallery is gone. It's just um, little clips of sound on the internet, each one with their own tweet and um, lots of images strung together in different ways as the audience chooses. Hmm. Mm. In nowhere in particular. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, good name of a exhibition, isn't it? No one in particular. Well, well, nowhere, nowhere. <laughs> well, probably by no one in particular either. No. Uh, well, I no, don't know. So I'm, um, I'm, re- I'm reckon radio would die out uh, when I when I'm in, in my final coffin, and that's it. That's oh, when it's so as, long as, it, as long as it's as long survives. as it's still then. Which yes. could be anywhere between now and uh, 200 years' time. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> so you're very happy to be doing it, and um, we're, we're, I'm sharing that with you. Well, it's time, how so. it's presented, yeah. I think, is the best, is, is the format, shall we say. Yeah. It could be a format of, of um, you know, you just broadcast from your laptop and that's it, anywhere yeah. in the world, Yeah. to having full-scale recording studios to do it as well right it depends on you know how the radio station wants to be perceived i think in the way well does it make any difference could the audience tell nope you can't tell if we, we're sitting in a um <laughs> in a field or in the middle of a in a, a block of flats could we could no. be broadcasting anywhere no do you think that's a good thing about radio yes it's more imagination if we put a, a camera down here, mm-hmm. okay, it wouldn't be no my imagination at all. No. No. So you, you. Not, I mean, that's the other thing that that seems to be going on is the the trend towards video, and yeah. you're ba- you're basically saying you're against it because it uh, reduces the imagination needed. It does. Is it? Um, if you are having radio, and radio is sound. Yeah. Then p- to put video with with your studio is not doesn't really work really. So has Radio 1 got it completely wrong, do you think? To, uh, they talk Radio about 1... <laughs> I, I won't say anything in case I <laughs> we, get to, we get hounded by it, but I think the, the concept of radio is now getting too high-tech. Yeah. You see, I, I think we need to take the studio back to the old format of uh, a disc jockey does some work for his living yeah. instead of actually pu- pushing a button and there it is oh well I don't, I don't know about that I don't know about that no what I was thinking of was um, visual radio oh visual radio yeah okay, you see right. when, when, radi- when Radio 1 came here a couple of years ago and they, they came to Seal Hain as well that's mostly what they were talking about they, they were saying well look it's got to go all into little clips on social media mm. and therefore it might as well be video because that's what works on Facebook and well it wasn't so much Facebook then but YouTube and it's now working on Twitter as well and all sorts of other places so it's got to be video so you might as well uh, record it all if you've got a guest or a live performance or anything like that it's, it's got to be video uh, it's not not just radio that's what that's what they're saying and um, Radio Devon was in this building so what is television then well, I don't know. I mean, like they, <laughs> they don't. They seem to stop bothering. The, the way they were speaking, mm. um, the, the Radio One people and the BBC Learning people, who were in the building here and also at Seal Hain, um, you asked them, "Is any of the big weekend going to be on television?" And they they either didn't know or didn't think it was important. Mm. No, I'm just they, they thinking, what, the, about what's it. the concept of television? And if you're having radio to be the same concept as television, because you can actually see what's happening in the studio. 
So well, what's t- the concept of well, the two? Well, well, television seems to be collapsing faster than radio is collapsing because it's policy. I mean, there is, there is no BBC Three, but Radio One is on the iPlayer as if it was television. Hmm. And that so, or some sort of, I don't know. It makes it's it more, more mystery, ac- accessible it? for people, and I understand that, but I don't understand, are we keeping television as a hearing and, and viewing and radio just as, as a, a hearing, or are we incorporating everything as one thing? So oh. you, you, television and radio are exactly identical. Well, perhaps they are. Hmm. Except in this studio, where the light the lighting is terrible <laughs> to start with, I don't. I don't think television's going. Well, some people have actually got very good results mm. out of this studio. Mm. Has to be said. Yes. Uh, okay, but it's just the concept I'm worried about. Where it seems to over the years of um, me sitting in studios, various of them around the country. Yes. Um, I've noticed the impact of how a program is put together. Yeah. And and I think, in a way, actually, I, I don't like it because it's too far advanced. Oh, in, into into the technology side, too fast. Oh dear. All right, well, JJ, I'm not going to push a button. I'm just going to push up a fader. But, what's that? But it should work. <laughs> so hang on, just a moment. <laughs>